please. Really, I feel fine. This is ridiculous. I'm fine. What's wrong? Nothing is wrong. We picked her up at Bradshaw's department store. Stark naked. I was not naked. I was changing my clothes. I was just changing my clothes. Any sign of alcohol? Alcohol? No. Just, uh, that's why we brought her here. Now, come on, Mrs. Teagues. Cut the act. You're stripped in the middle of the store. That's how you get your kicks. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. All right, take this patient to room four, please. Jackpot, start an initial workup. I'll get someone from neurology to see you. All right. Pharmacist on call. Please go to CCU staff. Pharmacist on call to CCU staff. Come on, Doc. What are you trying to do? Protect the wife of a school board official? Who paid you off? It's going to make some pretty reading in my paper. I haven't the faintest idea what you're talking about. Yeah. Put that out. This is a hospital. Play ball with me, Doc. Stanley. I'll treat you right. Stanley! Quick! Overdose! We have to pump his stomach! Jackpot! Right! Come on, quick, quick! Out of the way, please. This is an emergency. Yeah, sure, sure. I'm the queen of science. Yeah, the man. Wait, Just please. tell me what's going hey, Listen, you think a little act like that's going to stop me, huh? Move it! It's all right. Uh, go help start. I'll take care of this. Inhalation therapist, do I see you? Inhalation therapist, do I see you? Flush the vein with the heparin solution. That's good. We're almost through now. Well, what do you think of the floor show? Oh, that's quite an act you got there, lady. Okay, hot shot. What other tricks you got up your sleeve? And now for my grand finale. I will be removing the microclips from the artery. You know, for a classmate of yours, uh, she's quite an impressive surgeon. You kidding? Trade tech turned out only the finest. And the most humble. Uh, John, I need help. I've got a lady who's having transient ischemic attacks. She's a prime candidate for a stroke, and I can't find anybody from neurology. Well, how about a neurosurgeon? One of the best in the biz right in there. Yeah? Yeah. When she's finished, I'll introduce you. Oh, good. Thank you. Boy, you guys would not believe the kind of... She? Hers a she? She's a... That's a girl? Haven't you heard, Stan? They let girls become doctors now, too. <clears throat> oh, come on now, John. I have no bias as far as women are concerned. Doctor? Close the scalp for me, will you? Two layers, no drain. If they want to be doctors, that's their prerogative. Poor thing. Probably couldn't catch a man. <laughs> Yes, poor thing. Now, what about that patient of yours? Hmm? Well, oh, the TIA? Oh, that's, forget about that. I'll, I'll uh, try to reach Dr. Clark. He should be back soon. Stanley, don't tell me you... A male chauvinist? A chauvinist? Me? Me? Don't oh, be silly. Come on, John. It's just that I, uh... I'd feel a little more comfortable consulting with one of our own. You know what I mean. <laughs> Sorry it took me so long, but I was outside fixing one of my porcelain nails. Dr. Whitaker, may I introduce Riverside, Stanley Riverside? My pleasure, Doctor. Oh, Dr. Riverside was uh, just discussing uh, a patient with us. Oh? Yes, in emergency. Just brought in, isn't that right, Stanley? Stanley. Hmm? Oh, yes, uh, uh, today. Possible impending stroke. Where is this patient you want me to see? 400 rooms. No, um, room 400. Uh, we just brought it to neurology. <laughs> well, uh, I guess I'd better get back to emergency. We're on chief of it. <laughs> emergency. Uh, 
chief of emergency. Would you like to come with us? Me? Really? Well, I guess my opinion could be of some help. Yes. Good. to try and understand Riverside. He's just a little... I think he's kind of cute. Cute. Stanley? Dr. Riverside, please call with me, operator. Hey, what's the latest on our lady inside? There's no smoking out here, sir. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. I hear they call you Ripples. Got to be a good story behind that one, huh? You believe everything you hear? Yeah, most people do, you know. Uh, that's how I make my money, cutie. Brody, National Lowdown. Hmm. Man of letters, I see. Well, Mr. Brody, um, I make my money by making sure my patients get well and uh, stay in their rooms. Uh -huh. That was a hint. Don't be silly, Rose. You blacked out, that's all. Well, this is uh, Teagues, Mr. Teagues. I'm uh, Randolph Teagues, my wife Rose. I'm Dr. McIntyre, and these are my colleagues, uh, Dr. Whitaker and uh, Dr. Gates. How do you do? Hello. I'm really embarrassed. I mean, there's nothing wrong with me. I, I just don't know what happened. May I? One minute I was looking at robes, and the next minute I was being carted in here. Well, that's why we brought in Dr. Whitaker. Maybe she'll be able to fit in the pieces. I certainly hope so. You've been experiencing what we call transient ischemic attacks. These are caused by a diminished blood flow to the brain. It can bring about momentary weakness, numbness, forgetting what you were going to say, forgetting where you were. I forgot, all right. Well, I guess I'm never going to shop at Bradshaw's again. <laughs> well, the problem is related to disease of the blood vessels that uh, lead to the brain. But don't worry, if that's the problem, you're in good hands. Dr. Whitaker is an expert in this field. Whitaker? Have we met before? No, I don't believe so. I'm sure we've met. Randy's on the school board, and he meets so many people in the course of a day. Now stop campaigning with the pretty doctor. It's not an election year. How would you like to be a guest in our hospital for a few days? Can't promise you anything about the food, but I may be able to find a reason for those attacks. Well, it's, it's just that I feel guilty. I mean, taking up space when I'm not even sick. No, no, you let us worry about that, huh? Besides, we like your company. I'll come and check on you later. It's funny, I never forget a face. I'm sure we've met. But you know how it is. You've seen one neurosurgeon, you've seen them all. The Schädelaufnahmen sind normal. Kein Anzeichen von einem Tumor. Machen wir noch ein Syndigramm? Ja, heute Nachmittag. Wenn das ohne Befund ist, machen wir ein Angiogramm. Es wundert mich, dass Tiegs von den Beschwerden seiner Frau nichts bemerkt hat. Die hat sie doch nicht erst seit heute. Naja, bei seinem Terminkalender sieht er sie bestimmt nicht oft. Und Sie wissen doch, was man sagt. Der Ehemann erfährt es als Letzter. Oh, ich dachte, die Ehefrau. Die Zeiten haben sich geändert. Wo waren Sie? Wenn wir operieren, würden Sie mir assistieren? Ich dachte schon, Sie würden nie fragen. <laughs> Good. I think this place is going to turn out to be a real hotbed of stories, Chief. We, we haven't had a good hospital expose in months, am I right? Don't worry, I'll find a good reason for them to keep me here a couple of days. This is really an insult to one's intelligence. I know, it's terrible. Did you turn the page? It's not surprising a man like Brody would uh, write for a piece of trash like this. Improving your mind, are you? <laughs> Hi. Hi. Can I join you? Sure, sit down. Yeah. 
would you look at him? Look at who? Dr. Riverside. Dr. Riverside? Isn't he adorable? <laughs> Dr. Riverside? Stanley? He's so, he's so innocent, cuddly. <laughs> cuddly? Like a teddy bear. Stanley? Stanley. Hey, Stan. You care to join us? Good, thanks. Oh, um... Oh, no, come on, sit down. We have a seat right there. Well, if you're sure I'm not in the way, uh... Here, here. They're not, uh... Well, well, will you look at that? What? That! Out of everything in that machine, you both picked turkey on wheat. <laughs> well, it's only because they were out of... Um... And look at that! You both drink the same thing. You drink milk, she drinks milk. Well, God's children gotta drink milk. <laughs> well, I'll bet there's no end to what you two have in common. All great minds think in the same way, right, Dr. Whitaker? Carson. Call me Carson. Carson. Oh, my gosh. I just remembered. We have to look in on that broken elbow, don't we, Gloria? What broken elbow? Come on, you remember. Oh, right. All right, bro. We want to keep that broken ankle Wait. Elbow. Elbow, right. Bye. Bye. Has anyone ever told you my father's chairman of the board? You should see Riverside Trapper. I tell you, it's a match made in heaven. Now, well, Confucius say, man who plays Cupid gets none of the credit and all of the blame. Oh, come on. Where's your sense of romance? <laughs> in the bank with the alimony checks. <laughs> Dr. Magna. Mr. Gates, and we meet again. Mr. Teagues. Yeah, my, uh, my wife, doctor, do you have any more news? How is she? No need to worry. She's in good hands. Yeah, well, I, I don't mean to sound alarmed, doctor. Rose and I have been together for 21 years, so you can understand my concern. Certainly. I, I want you to be honest with me. Is she going to need surgery? Well, it's too soon to tell. She's still undergoing tests, and uh, don't worry. If surgery is required, you got a terrific surgeon on this case. Yeah. Well, I'm, uh, I'm sure Dr. Whitaker is quite skillful in her work. The best. However, I'm sure there are other doctors who are equally capable of performing the same surgery. Well, this is a relatively new type of surgery, and uh, well, there's only a handful of experienced microvascular surgeons around. <laughs> I find that hard to believe. A hospital the size of this... I'm sure you can find someone else to take over my wife's case. Mr. Teagues, what do you... Just make sure you find someone else. Someone other than Dr. Whitaker. Good day, gentlemen. Dr. Peel, please call your office. Oh, good, that's yes, it. Schnell hier rein. Ich weiß nicht, was ich tun soll. Ich brauche Ihre Hilfe. Was ist los? Ich habe eine Verabredung. Was? Ich habe eine Verabredung. Eine Verabredung? Sie hetzen mich hierher, nur weil Sie... Es ist nicht irgendeine Verabredung, sondern... Dr. Whitaker. Oh, Stanley, you've had dates before. Well, of course I've had dates before. But other girls, you, you take them out, you talk about work. You tell them you're a doctor and uh, they're easy to impress, you know what I mean? But Dr. Whitaker is a doctor. How do I impress her? There are other qualities, Stanley. You gotta be yourself. Be myself. What if she doesn't like myself? Oh, look, she's probably just as insecure about this thing as you are. Really? You think so? Well, sure. So you take her to a movie. You take her to a restaurant. You talk about... Restaurant. That's good. She probably eats. I'll take her there at dinner time. Good thinking. What then? Then order dinner. Dinner, good, right, okay. What am I ordering? <laughs> Look, Stanley, you mm. gotta relax. You gotta relax. Now, once you get there, you'll think of some way to break the ice. I'll think of some way. You talk about work, you talk about sports, you talk about the way her eyes match the color of her dress. Good thought. I love the way your eyes match the color of your dress. Planned? 
One tequila straight up. And one strawberry sunrise. I had the strawberry sunrise. I can't order. This is all in Spanish. Oh, allow me. I happen to speak fluent Castilian Spanish. Buenas noches, señor. Ah, señor, qué bueno que ustedes hablan español. Me da mucho gusto que están aquí esta noche. ¿Cuánto tiempo vivieron en México? We'll have two number 18s. Ah, uh, dos, diez y ocho. Two 18s? You've got it. Gracias. I swear this used to be a French restaurant. You know, it really doesn't matter. All that matters is that we're here alone and getting to know one another. That's right. with Dr. Gates, hmm? Yes. Well, actually, I was a couple years ahead of him in school. I was just starting my residency about the time that he... Uh... Can you hear me? What? Let's get out of here! What did you say? Why don't I pack this to go? <laughs> but some people have accused you of living in the 19th century. How do you answer them? If you're talking about my stand against the recent lenient standards, then I plead guilty. I'm a God-fearing man, Jerry. My father and his father before him were raised with a Bible in one hand and a hard ruler in the other. Now, I say it's time we put the fear of God back into our students. The moral decay of today's generation is becoming an increasing stigma on society. You look pale. Oh, no, that's just, just the set. set. No, you look pale on the set. Right. You uh, look pale in here. Specifically, do you know oh, Dr. McIntyre. Come in, we were just watching Randolph on the Jerry Duncan show. Oh, that's not important. I presume those are the test results? Oh, well, yes, some of them. Good news, I hope. Well, good news is you don't have a tumor. And what is it? It's a vascular problem. Fortunately, it can be corrected. With surgery? Well, it's the best treatment we have to prevent a stroke. Surgery will be performed on the arteries on the surface of the brain. The brain? That's where uh, Dr. Whitaker comes in, I presume. Well, it's our intention that you have the very best. Wouldn't you agree, Mr. Teagues? Yes, of course, Doctor. The very best. Dr. Citron, please call. Dr. Citron, please call recovery room. Dr. Carl Citron, call recovery room. Gentlemen. Hey. Hey. Sorry, this isn't my department. No, 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 I'm not one of them. I'm just looking around here. Maybe you could help me, huh? Mm -hmm. Tell me, when's the last time a baby got switched on you here, huh? Switched? Yeah, yeah, you know. Name tags get a little mixed up. Kid goes home with the wrong set of parents. Listen, I think you've got the wrong information. Oh, what, what are you trying to do, hush it up? Come on, it happens all the time in hospitals. You know that. A baby? A baby, a basket of fruit, somebody else's mail. What's the difference? Things are always... Come on, they're always getting mixed up in hospitals this size. Stands to reason this hospital has a share of wrong babies? Well, am I wrong or what? Kids always look the same at that age anyway. Because that chili relleno won't stay cold forever. Uh, well, actually, I don't have to. Um, 
What time is it? Oh, it's early. Would you like some coffee? Mm -hmm. No, I really should be. Um, could you? Um, you want your clothes? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here's your socks. <laughs> There you go. Thank you. I uh, want to tell you what a nice time I had. What's wrong? It's nothing wrong. I just... You're so shy. That's all. I... Not shy. Not shy at all. It's just that... Oh, but that's what attracted me to you in the first place. I've never known a man like you. It's just... There's something about you. I just don't know. <laughs> what? What about me? Come on, what is it that attracted you to me? Hmm? You can tell me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bet you know. It's my smile. Is that it? Hmm? Oh, your smile. <laughs> right. Or that little dimple I get when I pout. I love that dimple. <laughs> How about your innocence? I'm not... Well, that's what turns you on. I know that deep down inside of you is a sensitive, compassionate man that hardly anyone gets to see. Yeah? Yes, and besides that, you're cute. <laughs> cute? I'm cute? <laughs> you're adorable. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, uh, there's something you should know. Just so you don't get the wrong impression about uh, last night. About us, I mean. Um, I'm my own man. A loner. Rolling stone. Not the type to get pinned down. Just not that type at all. Oh. Nope. Footloose and fancy free. That's me. Okay. Okay? That's okay? That's fine. Well, that shouldn't be okay. I want to see you. How about lunch? Lab reports. Dinner. I've made plans already. Break them. Mm -hmm. I'll try. Now, how about some breakfast? No, I really am going to be late as it is. I'll uh, see you tonight. Mm okay. Tonight, huh? Yes. Just one more thing. What? Your shirt. Yes. It's on backwards. Oh, thank you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Where have you been? You're late. Good morning, Starch My, but you look lovely this morning. Good morning. Well, it's almost afternoon. I do. Yes, but um, something's missing here. Oh. Yeah, that's better. Oh, thanks, Dan. <laughs> oh, Miss Brancusi. I uh, know what you're going to say, Dr. Riverside. You're angry about yesterday, but it wasn't my fault. You have to understand, the Leonetti boy is absolutely impossible to deal with. And angry, Miss Brancusi? Yeah. You're doing a wonderful job. Don't let anybody tell you any differently. Keep up the good work. Uh. Sally! Uh. That must have been quite a night. Mm. <laughs> Your father's been calling all morning. He wants to know where you were last night. Really? Well, if he calls again, tell him I'll be home when I'm home. I'm a big boy now. I can take care of myself. <laughs> I uh, wonder what's wrong with Dr. Riverside. I don't know, but whatever it is, I hope it lasts. It's open. Got a minute, John? Yeah, what's up? Well, I thought you should know. I've got Simmons covering for me this weekend. Simmons? Yeah, I know he's your backup, John, but uh, try to see it my way. Harrison was out of town, Agar couldn't do it, and Simmons is the only one left. I was counting on Simmons for this weekend. Just once. Just this once, John. Is it so much to ask? You don't know what this weekend means to me. Stanley, I promised the kids. John, are you going to stand in the way of... Love? Love? 
love, John. Love. It's finally happened. I have met the girl for me. Dad'll be so pleased. He always wanted me to marry a doctor. Are you, uh, sure about this? I'm gonna pop the question this weekend. We're driving down to Carmel. Once we're there, I'm... Uh, Dr. McIntyre, may I have a word with you? Sure. I'll just go, John. Thanks. I want you to know I didn't appreciate being put on the spot in front of my wife yesterday. Now, have you or have you not found another surgeon for her? Your wife needs specialized surgery, Teagues. I thought I made myself clear to you I don't want that woman to have anything to do with my wife. What woman? There are only a handful of surgeons in this area skilled enough to handle an operation like that. Now, you couldn't get any better than Carson Whitaker. Dr. Whitaker? What's wrong with Dr. Whitaker? I have my reasons. Your reasons? Are your reasons good enough to explain why you're wasting valuable time? Time your wife may not have? Time it's going to take me to scour the city? Trying to find a surgeon as qualified as she is? Qualified? I hardly call her qualified. On what grounds? Yeah, on what grounds? On moral grounds, Dr. Moral grounds. Now, just a minute! I was hoping it wouldn't come to this, but you leave me no choice. No two-bit hooker is going to operate on my wife, and that's all there is to it. Hooker? That's right, hooker, call girl, prostitute. What are you talking about? Ask her. I'm sure she'll be delighted to tell you all about it. Stanley? Stanley, it's for you. Stan, you got a phone call. What's wrong? As if you didn't know, Mr. Matchmaker. You must have had a good laugh, huh? A couple of big yucks at old Stanley's expense. Laugh about what? Hope you're happy, Gates. To think I was going to take her home to meet Dad. Stanley, what are you talking about? Setting me up with a you-know-what. Probably isn't even a doctor. You talking about Dr. Whitaker? Don't play dumb with me. You know perfectly well that she was. What she is, Stanley, is a damn fine surgeon. Now, where'd you hear about this? What difference does that make? The point is, I heard it. And Dr. McIntyre heard it, and the whole hospital probably heard it. Stanley, Trapper knows? Yes. All right, just get a grip on yourself, Stanley, until I get back to you, okay? Stanley, trust me. You're early. Well, I just wanted to see you and to bring you these. They're beautiful. Thank you. And what's this? Well, remember that sweater I promised you last winter? Better late than never. Well, that's very nice. But this hand of mine is giving me so much trouble. I've dropped more stitches today. Your, your hand is numb? It's all right. But you look pale. Pale? Me? <laughs> it's you I'm worried about. I bet that you're not taken care of. Hmm? <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say. Rose, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine, really. I saw Marilyn today. Marilyn? Did I say Marilyn? <laughs> I met Martha. I wonder what made me say Marilyn. Rose. Rose, what is it? I don't know, Randy. I don't know. Hold me. Hold me. Something's wrong. Rose? I can't see. I can't see. Yeah, well, see if you can find someone at Bay General that can locate another neurosurgeon who can do microvascular work. Oh, and uh, see if you can keep that Brody character from wandering around this hospital, okay? Yeah, keep me posted. How'd Stanley find out about Carson Whitaker? Same way I did. Why didn't you tell me? I figured it wasn't important. Wasn't important. Well, what am I supposed to tell you? Hey, Trapper, I know a great little surgeon who happens to be an ex-hooker. That would have been good for openers. Why? Would it have made a difference? Of course not. 
But you can bet it'll make a difference if the board of directors finds out. I mean, she'd be dumped in a minute. Exactly. So why tell him? I'm not planning on telling him. All I'm saying is... Well, you really put me on the spot this time. What's the problem, Trapper? She's a terrific surgeon. The problem is, I'm the one who hired her. I'm the one who's going to have to answer for this. Now, if you could have told me, well, at least I could have been prepared. Yes? When? Okay, we'll be right there. Rose Teagues, she's in trouble. How many do you count? Four. I really am embarrassed. I mean, having you all rush down here like this, I'm fine now. Maybe it was just nerves. How is she? Well, your wife has experienced what we call amaurosis fugax. It's a temporary loss of vision due to decreased circulation. What does that mean? Well, it means we have no time to run around and look for another neurosurgeon. I'm sending for Dr. Whitaker. What? Uh, uh, doctor, may I uh, see you outside for a minute, please? Will excuse us. Mm -hmm. Just what do you think you're trying to pull? I made myself perfectly clear to you and your client. Let me make myself clear to you, Teagues. My responsibility is to make your wife well. Dr. Whitaker happens to be the best surgeon for this case. Now, if you don't want the best, then you better tell her yourself. Stanley, I've been looking all over for you. Really? I, I, I've decided to confront the problem head on. What problem? I'm not going to beat around the bush. I'm just going to come straight to the point. Because after all, getting straight to the point is the only way to deal with the situation. And if there's one thing I want to do, it's settle this once and for all. What is it? How? What? Who? Could you? Stanley, how could I what? What? How could I what? Hey, Doc. Doc. How you doing? You're uh, Doc Whittinger, right? Whitaker. Whitaker, Whitaker, that's right. You know something? I don't want to tell you, you are one pretty looking Doc, Doc. Must be uh, very hard at times uh, for a beautiful dame like you, huh? What are you getting at? Hey, I'm just looking for an angle around here, cutie. Doc! Come on. Hey, listen. Am I right? A good-looking doctor like yourself, she must have a couple of stories in her hip pocket. Now, come on, Doc. Spill your guts. Uh, excuse me. May I talk to you? Yes, yeah, sure. You'll excuse us? Sure enough, I'll be around. I'm sure I don't have to explain to you why I've requested you off the case, Dr. Whitaker. No, you don't have to explain it to me. I was wondering how long it would take before you remembered where you had seen me before. I recognized you right away. I thought your type didn't remember faces. Yeah, well, I was one of the weirdos. I never forgot a face. I think that's why I retired. Into medicine? Actually, that's how I earned my way through medical school. How noble. Nobody said it was noble, Mr. Teagues. I didn't like it, but it was a means to an end. That's all. I think this discussion is over. I just want to make sure that you have nothing more to do with my wife's case. I think you understand. Yes, I understand. A man of strong moral character. You set some pretty high standards for yourself. It's only natural you want to set them for other people as well. Besides, it's your duty to protect the world from people like me. Your lofty principles are far more important than your wife's health. Oh, and, uh, Randolph. Just so you feel better, here's your hundred bucks back. Maybe it'll ease your conscience.
Was haben Sie erreicht? Also, Wilson in Portland ist nicht zu erreichen. Silvers in San Diego hat zu viel zu tun. Der Einzige, der zur Verfügung stünde, ist Kramer in Los Angeles. Na gut. Da gibt es aber ein Problem. Er braucht einen Tag für die Anreise. Einen Tag? Er hat Flugangst und kommt mit dem Wagen. Die Küstenstraße soll um die Zeit sehr schön sein. Versuchen Sie es weiter. Oh Mann, Ärger, Mann. Das fehlt uns gerade noch. Afternoon, Doctors. Brody, you still here? Just a little while longer, Doc. See, I find that once I'm close to a story, it just takes a little time to get the facts and move on. Really? Since when do facts have anything to do with your getting a story? Doc, you'd really be surprised how easy it is just to dig up some real dirt and smut without having to invent a thing. Really? Yeah. For example, I'm on to an interesting story right now about a gorgeous surgeon who is not being allowed to operate on a certain patient. I'm sure there's an interesting angle to that one. I haven't the vaguest idea. Oh, really? Come on, Doc. Don't play so dumb. It's bound to come out sooner or later. Brody, I'm warning you. Relax, Trevor. This... Come on, Doc. What's the lowdown on Whitaker? It's quite simple, actually. You see, Dr. Whitaker was moonlighting as a hooker when she was in medical school to pay for her education. <laughs> That's handling it, huh? <clears throat> Trapper, when are you going to learn to trust me? At this rate, never. Doctors. Mr. Teagues? Um, is it too late for a uh, stubborn man to change his mind about a surgeon? Dr. Whitaker. Stanley Riverside, I presume. Dr. Donahue to pediatrics. Dr. Donahue to pediatrics, please. Doc, your father's chairman of the board at this hospital, right? And I figure that he's pretty darn proud of you, isn't he? Yes, yes, he is. And I suppose that he thinks you've got a pretty good judge of character, huh? I suppose so. What is this? Uh, is this for next week's paper? Well, that depends. I mean, I wonder how your father feel if he found out his son was dating an ex-hooker. Where did you find out about Dr. Whitaker? Oh, so it's true, huh? No. No? Then what are you so upset about? I'm not upset. I'm not upset. That's all I need from you, Doc. I'm not very surprised. I want you to know I could tell there was something funny about that girl. She's too pretty. Do you know what I mean? When you've been around as long as I have, you could spot the type Just right away. Just a minute, Buster. Huh? You know, you happen to be talking about the woman I like a lot. How dare you besmudge her name with your cheap, shoddy insinuations. Look, Dr. Whitaker is a fine, upstanding woman and a damn good surgeon. All right. And she is a damn good surgeon. Okay. You know what? This is my quarter. I want you out of here. Now. Okay, out. Out. Go. Go on. Let's put the microclip on the artery. What I want to know is how you got Randolph Teagues to change his mind. Elevator. A good surgeon never reveals her secrets. <laughs> What's her BP? Stable. 140 over 90. Uh, very impressive, doctor. Of course. Why do you think I invited you? Riverside needs more x-rays on the Sims case. Mm -hmm. And order a GI on Murphy in... Uh, in two. Right, room two. And we also need a complete skull series done on Watkins by tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. Your uh, chief of emergency has got a pretty nasty temper, doesn't he? Riverside? Yeah, he's a mean old brute. And well, I guess he got pretty upset when I dug up some dirt on a fellow staff member. Hmm? How'd you know about Morrison? Morrison? Morrison. You, you mean the wife beater in radiology? The wife beater? Shh. Radiology? I, I don't have the... Did I say something wrong? We weren't supposed to speak about him. No, no, go on. It's fine. No, Jackpot. That's Dr. Sanderly we're not oh. to mention. Sanderly? Sanderly? The child molester, remember? Oh. Child molesting? Are you sure about that, Ripples? Oh, no. Did I say something wrong again? There. The endoterectomy is finished. We're ready for the vein graft. Yeah, you make it look so simple. 
Wir machen hier eine Gefäßanastomose. Neun Nullen Nylon, bitte. Wunderbi, richtig? Aha. Oberschwester. Sie haben es erfasst. Seit 28 Jahren, mhm. stimmt das? Seit 28 Jahren, das ist eine ganz schöne Zeit. Ja. Sie kennen bestimmt jede Menge gute Stories, ne? Kann man sagen. Uh, listen, if these corridors could speak, they'd curl your hair. Honest? Mm -hmm. This place must be a real hotbed of scandal. Uh, Am I right? Uh, huh? Are you right? Uh -huh. oh, oh. Listen, we got a guy in orthopedics here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but I, I really shouldn't. I know. Oh, I come know. on, come on. Don't, there's a 10 spot in it for you. What do you say? Make it 20. He likes to wear ladies' underwear. No kidding. <laughs> and, and did you hear about that pediatrician that got the nurse in trouble last year? Yeah. And Kramer, who, uh... Oh, slow down, slow down. Listen, did they tell you about the dietitian and the priest? The who? Well, get back to Kramer, Clara. Oh, look, there's plenty of them. Forget about Kramer. I'm loaded with stories. Yeah? Yeah, I got hundreds of them. Hundreds? Sure. I see. Uh. Yeah, I, I think I get the message, Clara. Hundreds, huh? Uh-huh. Can I have my 20 back, please? Ah, oh, that's going to charity. Could I have 10? Mm, that's going with me. It went beautifully. Your wife is going to be fine. Thank you. Doctor. Dr. Whitaker? Wait, please, wait, just a moment. Please. Why, Dr. Riverside, are we speaking again? Well, I, uh, I've given this whole matter a great deal of thought, and I have decided that, um, you should forgive me. Well, that depends. How do you feel about a woman with the past? A past? Uh, after what I've heard about this hospital today? <laughs> you would not believe what's going on in this hospital. Right under our very noses. Well, I have it on very good authority that a certain dietitian is working with a man of the past. No. I'm getting out of here, okay? All right? Thanks for the hospitality. Rudy. Uh, leaving so soon? Yeah. I'm sorry to be such an ungrateful guest, but I've never been in such a boring place in all my life. I could dig up more dirt in a fifth grade dance than I can in this hospital. Well, what about the dirt on Dr. Whitaker? Gone's up. All right, okay. So you had me going for a while, all right? But I wasn't born yesterday, you know. Don't think I don't know what you were doing. Doing? Setting me up like that? What do you think? I don't know that your hospital would love to sue my paper for false stories? A surgeon who used to be a hooker? Wife beaters? Child molesters? Don't think it hasn't been tried before, you know. But you just have to get up a little bit earlier in the morning to put one over an old Brody here. Goodbye, chumps. Better luck next time. Oh, boy. <laughs> Didn't I tell you I'd handle it? Yes, we did just that. There. Oh, latest edition of the National Lowdown. That rag. Ah, pygmies found in Phoenix. Cheerleaders lost in Bermuda Triangle. Let's see. Get your own. <clears throat> oh, come on. I don't want to have to buy one of those things. Doctor State sex is major cause of babies. Oh, that's news, isn't it?